Hey everybody, I am doing an unboxing video and trying out this Ryobi One Plus 18 volt cordless pole saw. It's an 8 inch um, blade and it can extend up to 9.5 feet. Now, I'll be honest, I used to really like DeWalt tools, but their batteries just don't last. And I'm trying to switch over to Ryobi. I had a few, I guess, DeWalt tools. I know some people love them. But I have a lot of friends that use Ryobi. And what I really like about them, they have this OnePlus system. There's something like 150 or more um, tools that run off the same battery. That's a great thing. So there's so many tools that I can use with the same battery. That, to me, is convenient. So I have maybe seven or eight tools right now. Every month or two, I try to buy another tool. I'm trying to build up my cordless tools. On the homestead, that's really important because I may be way up in the hills doing something. I may be at the chicken coop working, and my cords only go so far. So I'm going to open this up. I got this for Christmas. It's been a couple months, like three months. I haven't had a chance to use it. I am going to be using <clears throat> a different battery than the one that comes with it just because this battery isn't charged and I've gotten some of these um, I guess the next step up battery it's still an 18 volt but it's a lithium plus HP battery so these are supposed to last a, a little bit longer when you're out in the field so I just want to be honest with what I'm doing I'm pretty excited to try this out. I'm going to be in the back pasture and I'm just going to be cleaning up the fence line and I'm going to be prepping a burn pile to keep our pasture nice and clean. So let's go ahead and open up this Ryobi 18 volt cordless 8 inch pole saw. I think one of the things I like about this is not only does it have the same battery as 150 tools but it extends up to nine and a half feet and it doesn't take any gas because it's a battery. Um, it does still need chain oil, which is not a big deal. Okay, this is the battery that comes with it and the charger. I think I have like six batteries now, which is great. I'm just not using that because I already have one charged and it's a slightly better battery. So here is basically just three parts. Now here's the extension pole, I believe. I am gonna put it on later, but for right now, I'm probably gonna keep that off. And let's see what else they got in here. Looks pretty easy to set up. Looks like a safety strap and a wrench and instructions. Most people don't follow instructions. You gotta be a man. You don't need to follow instructions, right? Actually, I'm gonna read the instructions because I don't like to mess stuff up on purpose. I mess enough stuff up by accident. Why mess stuff up on purpose? So let's go ahead and assemble this um, saw. It doesn't look like it came with um, any bar oil. Um, I may be wrong on that, but, oh no, it says, remember to buy bar and chain oil. But that's okay, because I got like gallons of it for my uh, gas power chainsaw. So let's um, assemble this, take a look at it, and get rolling. Dun, dun, dun. Like I'm playing the electric guitar, though I've never played it on an electric guitar, but uh, this is what I feel like it would be like. I will tell you this I've used a couple power um, saws before, some pole saws, not a battery operated one, gas powered. And this already feels a lot more secure, stronger. I will say this Ryobi did a really good job. This is not a cheap tool, I've kept some. 
for a year or two, but after that, they break and they're not great. Again, I didn't buy the best, but this feels like the best. I feel really good about it. Let's check out this blade action. Hope you can see it. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Again, there's an extension bar. I'm gonna grab the extension bar off camera. This is the extension bar, so this can go up to nine and a half feet. But for right now, I'm gonna keep it off so that I can try this baby out. And I'm gonna be working in the back pasture. Hopefully you can see there's a woodpecker in the background. Maybe you can hear it. So I'm just gonna clean up the fence line and uh, have some fun with this. And then I'll tell you what I think. Likey. That was awesome. That bush is down for the count. And check out the extension. I can get way back here on the fence line. Down for the count, baby. Wow, like I said, I've used some pole saws before. This one is the best pole saw I have ever used. Made such easy work of that. Later I can come back on the other side of the fence, just push that brush back into the creek. But this baby is fun to use, it's easy, and I feel like kind of like Thor. I am Thor! So I gotta be honest, I wasn't gonna use this saw for as long as I have today. I got other projects that have priority, but I'm having a lot of fun with this. Um, I'm not gonna run out of battery life before I run out of this bar oil that I've just been carrying in my pocket. This thing has some power and it's nice on the grips. I feel very comfortable using this. I mean, this is a solid piece of equipment. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this area that's in our back pasture. This all used to be woods at one point, and this area we have this tree house, it's kind of falling apart now, but I just haven't cleaned this area up really in several years. So I'm gonna see how long it takes for this Ryobi pole saw to do its job. It's already worked better than any pole saw I've had. It really reaches. I feel very comfortable, my back's not hurting, so I definitely recommend this. But let's see how long this takes me. We're gonna do a little time lapse and then I'm gonna tell you how long it really took me to do this nice little area and clean it up. Well, I guess that's gonna do it for the Ryobi pole saw. This is an awesome tool. The only real complaint I have is that um, the chain adjustment screw is just right next to the blade and it's a little hard to get to, but besides that, this thing is a solid piece of equipment. These handles are very secure. This whole saw is excellent. I am very happy with it. Way better than any gas power saw I've ever used. Works probably four times faster, and it just doesn't feel as dirty and grimy with a gasoline. So I am really happy 
with this Ryobi pole saw and the 18 uh, plus one series that Ryobi does. They also do a 40 volt. These are 18 volts. I'm sure the 40 volt is super powerful, but this is great for my homestead and I can't wait to keep using it. I may even clear a half acre pasture with this. There's this pasture on the side of the hill that I've taken a lot of the big trees out over the years, but now the secondary forest is growing and I have dreams to turn it into another pasture for the horses for my wife. If you keep your wife happy, happy wife, happy life, they say. So until next time, keep on thinking about what you can do on your homestead to improve it. And sometimes it's just having the right tools.